What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash video. So not long until Iris is going to bite the dust. We've had some huge, huge reveals so far. We aren't really that much closer to knowing just who Savitar actually is. However, what is interesting is we have got the synopsis for the penultimate episode of The Flash Season 3. So if you're new to the channel, please do click that subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please do click that bell button so you get those notifications straight to your phone screen. So welcome people to this video on the return of Captain Cold and breaking down the synopsis for episode 22 of Season 3. So let's jump in, let's read the synopsis and we'll discuss about it afterwards. The countdown begins. Wentworth Miller returns as Captain Cold with only 24 hours left until Savitar murders Iris. Barry struggles to save the woman he loves and makes the choice to use any means necessary to do so. Realising he has one option left to save her, the Flash turns to Captain Cold for help. So, huge, huge thing. We've got Wentworth Miller returning as Captain Cold. We knew he'd return. He's been spotted on the set for this show. And also, Mr. Wentworth Miller returns and had a contract that will feature him across all of the shows. So, very interesting here. Obviously, <laughs> since Captain Cold was last on The Flash, he has been on one hell of a journey. He was questing with the Legends of Tomorrow, started to turn properly good, and then, well, he sacrificed himself to save everyone. And then in Legends of Tomorrow, season two, he was featured kind of in that he was a member of the Legion of Doom, and, well, he was taken from the timeline when he was actually bad before he actually joined the Legends, or... So almost started to go face, to use a wrestling term there. And, well, quite a journey for our Captain of Cold. So it's interesting that we're going to have him return to the show. However, I'm a bit confused as to what will happen. Will he be plucked back into the normal timeline? He is technically still properly good. We saw at the end of Legends of Rose Season 2, he was put back in the timeline. He was, well, everything was fixed, basically, for Captain Cold. It was an interesting return for him, even though he sacrificed himself. So not sure what's happening there. Which version of him will we have? Will we have him plucked from a different timeline? Or will he actually be someone who is good? Will he have the current sort of Captain Cold? Although he didn't have the journey that he did on Season 2 with the rest of the group. So not too sure. That is one thing I'm excited and interested to see which version of Captain Cold we will have. Now, what kind of impact will he actually have by saving Iris? Now, we know that Killer Frost or Caitlin Snow using Killer Frost powers was able to slow down or stop Savitar just a bit. Well, this could be the Flash's ace in a hole. Or ace in a hole, even not ash in a hole. Well... He could actually get Captain Cold to slow Savitar down so much that they could put him into the trap. Perhaps himself and Waddy West will not be fast enough to save Iris, and they probably haven't realised that they, they realise sorry that they can actually not save her. They can't save her because they're not fast enough, and they'll have to slow that motherfucking Savitar down enough. Now, what's interesting I want to know as well is because after the identity is revealed, we will be able to deduce how he will be stopped. Now, I wonder if it is something to do with Captain Cold. If it, there is a reason why he turns to Captain Cold specifically and doesn't just get Cisco to make another cold gun. That would be a big thing there. Will Captain Cold and the identity of Savitar actually have some history together. Will they have beef? And that is why the Flash is hoping that Captain Cold will actually help him 
to stop Savitar. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that could be the reason why Captain Cold, of all people, is chosen by Barry to save Iris here. And it is a huge, huge thing for him to actually do and use Captain Cold to save Iris, considering that Captain Cold is actually a villain. So there is that, and I'm hoping there will be a Legend of Tomorrow crossover. Hopefully, I think that'd be pretty cool if Barry could turn up somehow on the Wave Rider. Not sure how that would actually happen, but I would really hope they do. I thought that'd be really, really neat if they did that. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.